Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a before and after video. Um, I've got a little project on the go, which I might do slowly over the winter evenings. I'm going to be making um, a kind of nice walking stick from some wood that I found on our little piece of land. And I'm thinking that I might use some paracord as a wrap for the handle, um, so as a grip or something to hold on to. Um, and in looking on YouTube, I saw that... I, I, I mean, I haven't done any kind of paracord braiding or anything like that, but it seems that one of the things that you really need to use is a kind of needle to go on the end of the paracord, um, because feeding it through and weaving it is quite difficult when you've got this kind of soft, floppy end of it. Um, and I saw that people were um, making uh, or modifying um, screw posts to make what's called a paracord fid, um, or a, ne a feeding needle, um, to help. So I went to a stationery shop yesterday and managed to find a screw post. Um, it's like a really long version of a Chicago screw. And um, you can see it's a screw post with a screw at one end. You just unscrew that end here. Um, let's take that off. And you would normally um, screw in and feed this end of the paracord into there. If you, I've cut it into a 45 degree angle, slightly melted it. Um, but when you put it in, actually it screws on and feeds really quite well into it um, and holds it. Oh, I'm fiddling a bit here. Uh, but when you screw it in, um, you really do get quite a good strong um, sort of attachment to it, which helps you when you're feeding it through. But naturally you can see um, you're going to have to uh, take the end off, um, cut it off with a hacksaw, and then I'm going to file that down into a nice uh, gentle point. Um, to help push it through uh, but you can see this is quite short for a fid and one of the things that was really cool is um, in the shop this was actually the last longest screw post that they had um, it's for book binding and that kind of thing but they did have little extension pieces here so you can see I actually bought three of them this uh, piece here was only 75 cents and each of these short extensions was 30 cents so I just well kind of snapped those up um, it's made out of brass. Put these three together like that. Um, and then I could go back and buy a few more of these to make the fid even longer, which um, might be quite useful for um, in some other braiding. So I might go back and get that. But for me, the priority at the moment is to just get a nice point on that end. Um, this little screw uh, gets discarded, although I'll keep it because um, it might be useful for something. So I'll come back to you when I've managed to file that end down to a nice point. Um, first things first, I've got to go and hacksaw it off. So we'll pause there for a moment and I'll come back later. Just wanted to show you that I've attached the, I've sawn the end of the um, screw post off and I've attached it to a drill. So that's going to, um, I'll attach this to a workbench and let it spin around while I use a metal file on the end to file that down into a, a gentle point. So again, I'll come back when that's finished. So as you can see, I've managed to, uh, with a bit of help from my lovely partner, um, attach the drill to a workbench, spun it around a few times with a f metal file, dirty fingers you can see, and got it down to um, a basic point there. I, I think the idea is to not have it too sharp. So I'm just going to have a little practice and see if that angle is suitable for what I need. So that's been a mixture of using um, a couple of a coarse file, then a finer file, and a little bit of uh, sandpaper towards the end to polish it up a little bit. So let's see if it actually works. So I've got this uh, rather beautiful uh, bamboo cane that my partner has um, and I just have uh, put thrown together some paracord because I want to test how good the angle is on the edge of the tip of the fid uh, to see if it will feed through uh, correctly. Um, this is no particular kind of wrap. I, I have no idea how to make a, a handle wrap at the moment but I'm just looking to see how easy it manoeuvres um, through the cordage uh, if I wanted to try and uh, weave or, or feed it through um, and it does seem to be uh, not too bad an angle look at that horrible mess so as I said I'm just doing this as a demonstration for myself to see how well the fid will 
um, feed through uh, a bunch of paracord and yeah it looks like it'll go through I'm trying to be a little bit careful not to damage the cane um, I might work on that angle of that piece there a little bit more to smooth it out um, but I think in principle it should work and it, you get a quite good tight fit on that at the moment you can pull it well I'd probably pull it holding it there but it's quite strong um, hopefully one day I'll be able to show you a, a decent bit of wrap but that's just a demonstration I'm just practicing to seeing if the the fit will work in principle but um, yeah I think I might just refine that angle a little bit more um, and the tip's very soft so it's I might round that off a little bit more so it doesn't catch on, on, on anything but overall I'm quite pleased um, that was 75 cents 90 cents for the three extension pieces I might get a few more to make the fit a little bit longer um, but overall I'm quite pleased with that a very cheap mod uh, for a quick um, and useful fit uh, for paracording so I hope you enjoyed that thank you